Good morning, class. So today we're going to start chapter three, which is the analysis of one quantitative variable. So right in the beginning in section 3.1, we're looking at types of descriptive statistics, specifically numeric summaries. So we're looking at the five number summary today and percentiles. So we're putting those two together because those two necessitate that the data is in order. So meaning it goes from the smallest to the largest. So the data set that you have shown right now is not in order. So we're going to order the data by putting the smallest value first and then the largest value last. So zero is our smallest and then we would have one and then two, three, then there are two measurements that are four and then five. So today we're looking at number of pets. So quantitative variables, remember, have units connected to them or they're a numeric measurement. So looking at this, in our five number summary, we're going to have five measurements, starting with what's called the minimum. So the minimum is just as it sounds, it's the smallest value. The next measurement that we have in our five number summary is going to be called the first quartile. So the first quartile can also be shortened to just Q1. The next measurement that's included in the five number summary is going to be referred to as the median. Then we would have the third quartile, which again can be shortened to just Q3. And then we would end with the maximum. So those are the five numbers that are represented in the five number summary. Now we're going to look at how you would find them in the data set. So when you think about the minimum, it's just as it sounds, it's going to be the smallest value. So for our data set, the minimum would be zero. So if we continue on, let's talk about the maximum. So same idea applies. It's going to be the largest value though, and that would be five. So going to the median, that is going to be just like the median in the road, it's going to be the middle. So a median splits the data in half, where 50% of the observations are less than that point, and 50% of the observations are greater than that value. So if you have an odd number of observations, which we have seven observations, it will just be the middle observation. So here, our middle observation is three, so three is going to be our median. If you have an even number of observations, then you would actually have to add the middle two and divide by two. So the first quartile, we're going to find using the method that the book uses, which is called Tukey's hinges. So in Tukey's hinges, what you actually do is find the bottom 50% of the data. And so in Tukey's hinges, you include the median. So here you'll actually notice that our middle of that bottom 50% is going to be two measurements because there's an even number of observations. So here that means to find Q1, we are going to add one and two, or those middle two observations, and divide by two. So essentially we're finding an average of those middle two observations. So Q1 for this data set is going to be 1.5. So we'll use the same method, the Tukey's hinges method for the third quartile, which means we also are going to include our median. So that means that the middle two observations here are going to make up Q3. So we have four, but we have that measurement twice. And so Q3 for this data set is going to be four. So when you look at the five number summary, there are five values, but one thing that you can also notice is that with the five values, there are actually four chunks that are made up. So the first chunk between the first quartile and the minimum, because the first quartile has 25% of the data below it and 75% of the data above it, between the minimum and Q1 is 25% of the data. Similarly, because the third quartile has 75% of the data below it, that means that 25% of the data is above it, or between Q3 and the maximum, there's 25% of the data. Between the median, then, and the minimum, there's 50%, because 50% of the observations are less than the median. That means the remainder, or between the Q1 location and the median, there's 25% of the data. So that also indicates that above the median, if there's 
and we already have 25% represented between the median and Q3, there would be 25% of your data. So the five number summary is going to break the data up into 25% chunks, and that's also why they're called quartiles, because each chunk is making up a quarter. So the first quartile has one quarter below it. The median could be called Q2, but it has two quarters or two 25% chunks below it. The third quartile has three 25% chunks below it, so that's why it's called third quartile or three 25% observations, 25% of the observations. And then the maximum is going to have all of the data below it or make up the whole 100% of the data set. So the last thing that we're going to talk about today is what's called percentiles. So percentiles are those numbers that make you feel either really good about yourself or really bad about yourself. So there are actually two percentiles that we've talked about today, um, the 25th percentile and the 75th percentile. So if I were to give uh, one of my quartiles a percentile name, I could call the 75th percentile also Q3 because it has 75% of the data below it. Similarly, the 25th percentile, because there's 25% of the data below it, could also be called Q1. So if I wanted to give the median a percentile name, I could call it the 50th percentile because there's 50% of the data below it. So percentiles are whatever percent of data is below it, it's that percentile. So 75th percentile, 75% is below it. Similarly, 25th percentile, 25% of the data is below it. So today we've looked at the first numeric summaries for one quantitative variable, looking at measurements that necessitate the data be put into order. So we have five number summaries and percentiles.